Hello! In this chapter, we'll take a closer look at parasitic infections of the gastrointestinal tract. Parasitic infections are fairly common in cats. There are several different species of parasites which can inhabit the GI tract and cause symptoms like vomiting and diarrhea. Other species are associated with subclinical infections, meaning cats can harbor the parasite without showing any overt signs of illness. Because parasites are so common, all cats with signs of GI disease should be tested to rule out a parasitic infection. Your veterinarian may also recommend routine testing if you have a new kitten, you've adopted a stray or shelter cat, or your cat goes outdoors. Now let's take an in-depth look at some of the most common parasitic infections in cats. Roundworms are a group of intestinal parasites that commonly infect the gastrointestinal tract of cats. The most common species in cats are Toxicara cati, commonly known as roundworm, and Ancelostoma tubiformi, commonly known as hookworm. Cats may become infected with Toxicara cati by ingesting the parasite's eggs from the environment, or by ingesting birds or rodents that have eaten these eggs. Once in the intestines, Toxocara can migrate through the blood vessels, spreading to the lungs and other organs. Some larvae remain in the intestine and grow to the adult stage. Clinical signs of Toxocara may include vomiting, diarrhea, a distended and painful abdomen, poor hair coat, failure to thrive, dehydration, fever, and anemia. Sometimes the stools contain mucus and blood. Ancelostoma tubiformi is another parasite found throughout much of the United States. Cats acquire this infection by the penetration of larvae from contaminated soil through the skin. Infections can also be acquired through the ingestion of rodents or birds that have been infected with the larvae. To diagnose roundworms, your veterinarian may recommend that you submit a sample of your cat's stool for testing. In the laboratory, the stool sample is suspended in a solution that allows the parasite's eggs to float to the surface. These eggs are then collected on a glass slide and identified under a microscope. The eggs of each species have unique features allowing your veterinarian to diagnose the infection. All right, so we're going to start with a dewormer. Now this is actually a newer dewormer, it's a topical. So, you know, we used to have to always give them pills in the past to deworm them. And this is a new product that we'd actually put right on his skin here. Okay. In the back of his neck and then it will absorb down into his body okay. and kill the, both the tapeworm that we saw earlier in addition to the roundworms that we can't see, but we know they're there from the stool right. sample. Okay. Okay? Wow. All right. So if you're ready. Sure. All right. So I'm just going to part the hair here, get right down onto the skin, and then after I put this on, you're not, you're not going to want to pet that area for okay. about 24 hours just to let the medication do its job. Since roundworms are very common, some veterinarians also recommend routine deworming of kittens. If your cat is diagnosed with roundworms, your veterinarian may recommend that you feed a high-quality kitten food or a GI diet. These diets are formulated with ingredients that are highly digestible, helping provide the nutrients your cat needs while the intestinal mucosa heals. Probiotic and prebiotic dietary supplements may also be added to the treatment regimen. These supplements are used to help restore a healthy balance of beneficial bacteria in your cat's gastrointestinal tract.